All right, dude, you ready to go? Yeah. Loaded it up for you? Yeah, thank you. Let her rip. All right, let's do it. Actually, let's do a uh, armor penetrating round on this one. Oh, uh, okay, well, I, I can. Yeah, no, I wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey, is it? Is that a slap round? It looks really old. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics, but I'm down here in Texas at Demolition Ranch. We got Matt with us here. What's up, Matt? How's it going, man? Oh, that wasn't you. Did you think that? Why would you do that if you thought that was me? I'm down in Texas, and uh, we're just having some fun shooting stuff. We already shot the mystery boxes, and today we've got a ton of bulletproof clothing. But before we get started, real quick, I want to say I'm coming back to Texas. Uh, September 18th. September 18th, Comfort, Texas, Apache Rifle Works. Come see us. And Goldberg. And Goldberg. Cy Robertson. From Duck Dynasty. Goldberg's WWE star, for those who don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert O'Burst will be there. Some guy who shoots uh, M1 Garands will be there. Yeah, I think his name's like Garand Pinky yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But he'll be there too. All of us are going to be there selling guns. Uh, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> you guys better make sure that I win. Show up. We're gonna sell it the place, right? Yeah, so the goal is to sell all the guns in this gun store in a single day, and we've assembled quite the team yes. to do this. Only come if you're gonna buy guns, though. We need to right. try to sell out this gun store. There'll also be uh, a bunker branding tent out there with clothing, so if you don't necessarily want your uh, shirt that you wear all the time signed, you can pick up another one. We can sign stuff inside. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a madhouse. Too. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Be sure and show up. Be sure to show up. Because <laughs> it's going to be nuts. <laughs> Today we have, this was all sent to me from uh, Bulletproof Everyone. Sent me this rad jacket here with my love. Matt's actually going to keep that one. So Bulletproof Everyone makes bulletproof clothes. So they take, like say this sweatshirt, and then they've sewn in level like 3A body armor. So you got like a bulletproof sweatshirt. They've even got bulletproof shirts. Got wow. a little nifty pocket there. And yeah, it's all sewed in. So you, you wash it with that in there? No. Oh, it, it zips out uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, it zips out and gotcha. then you can wash it. They sent me this giant Carhartt and... That it, one actually hides it well. Put yeah, that thing it does. On. You can't tell that he has armor on. It's just so It's just big. It, it's also 98 degrees in yeah. Texas right now. It's about to get hot. Hope that zipper breaks and he's just stuck in it for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, it's got your name on it. Yeah, look, they put my name on it. Look at that. And you got the logo on the back. There we go. I mean, that's a little poofy. Now I'm actually getting a little chilly, so I'm going to put this hoodie on. Oh, much better. Nice and warm now. Oh, you're going to be warm. That actually, like, doesn't look bad, though. Like, if you zipped up... Yeah, for sure. ...the armor... And here's what I do like about it. Like, the armor overlaps when it zips. Yeah. So it's not just piece to piece. It overlaps, so you don't have that open spot. It doesn't look awful. Yeah, no, I have no idea you were wearing body armor. It's I'm pretty legit. It's freezing right now. <laughs> it's really, it actually is like 98 degrees in Texas. Yeah, it's really hot right now. Ah, so, uh, we also got another sweatshirt. This polo is uh, pretty surprising. When you put this thing on, I think it's level like 2A, but there's some silver lining under here to make it look like you have an undershirt on. So when you wear this one, it actually doesn't print very much. And I think the more that you wore this stuff, the more it would like kind of flexible flex and mold to your body. Like it's pretty cool stuff. Um, I'd love to keep it all, but me and Matt are going to shoot it. It's going to be really hard to get the arms back on. We may just do no arms. Ow! Oh, did I get you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Right I'm on sorry. <laughs> That fits him nicely. Great, looking awesome. You got an IWI Uzi. It's chambered in 22 long rifle. Never shot one of these. It's fun. It looks cool. It's a really cool little gun. Uh. See if you can see under there. It stopped him. Yep. It cracked his chest just because his chest is super light and that 22 is bouncing, but nothing went through. Nine millimeter. Ooh, we'll just go look at that. It caught it. He but freaking like jumped up. That just shows you how much energy 
That Even in a nine cool. millimeter, there's a lot of energy there. So right there. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, that's not looking good for him. That's you. why it still hurts when you get shot when you're wearing soft armor. Oh. Did that go through? Or is that? I have to open it up and see. It definitely, no. No, nope, stop. It, it just cut on his sharp plastic. The Desert Eagle 1911? It's a Desert Eagle 1911 G. Yeah, just a 1911 made by the same company that makes the Desert Eagle 50 AE. And it's a sweet 1911. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I love that. Just support you so you don't fall over. I'm glad you were back there. <laughs> Knocked him over again. That 45's got some kick to got it. Got a lot of energy. I hope I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is. In caved into his chest. In his chest. Uh, it's still coming out of his chest. There we go. Gosh. It didn't go through. Nothing came through his back yet. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad because that was your this is brand new mannequin. It was my favorite mannequin. Nothing went through it. There's no holes. So I guess we should hit it with uh, something that will go through it now. What do you think? Yeah, 357 mag. Yeah. That's going faster. Speed is how you get through Kevlar. We're gonna give him a fighting chance and we're gonna shoot him in the back with the fresh armor. We're gonna give him a fighting chance. We're gonna shoot him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Colt the Python heck? that the ammo just fell out of. This is a 80s, like one of the old original Colt Pythons. 357 Magnum, this one has an eight inch barrel. You want me to shoot it or you wanna shoot it? You haven't oh, shot yeah. this, you shoot it. That's really this nice. This is gonna suck it right into his back. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> the shirt came out, but the body armor's still in I there. Think it stopped it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it stopped it. Ugh. Look at this. It's Dude. Just, it buries it into him. <sighs> yeah, that, that for sure yeah, did stop that it. stopped it. It crumpled it up. We're going to have to open it wow. up. Oh, there we go. Flatten it. Okay, it stopped pretty much everything it's supposed to stop. So now we're going to shoot it with stuff it's not supposed to stop. Uh, we couldn't decide if we wanted to use 500 Magnum or Desert Eagle, so we're just going to do both. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. One, one's there and one's there, I think. Ugh. Yeah, we need to open this up. Dude, this is a wad of Kevlar now. Kevlar. Ow. Sorry. That's the second time I've hurt you today. It didn't go through. What? Oh. Uh, one of them went off the side. We had a nick side. here. But dang, it stopped. It did stop one of one them. One of them. Whichever one. Mine was probably one that hit in the middle. Because he had his eyes closed because he's scared of the 500 magnums. <laughs> huh. Good stuff. Well, we've got a lot of other stuff to shoot. Since we shot the light armor, we'll skip on that for now. Step up something that's 3A. Let's uh let's shoot my gigantic Carhartt. Carhartt. I just want to say, bulletproof everyone, I really appreciate the time and effort you put in this. You put my name on it and my logo on the back, but we're totally gonna smoke this thing. <laughs> so this is rated up to 44 Magnum. I would almost guarantee it's probably gonna stop 22 and 9 mil. So we're just gonna go ahead and step it up to 44 Magnum. Dude, the point blank 44. <laughs> Look at the burn. That fireball just hit him right there. Oh man. But did it stop? Yep, there it is. See how it it watered his, that thing up. It went right in his nip. All right, so check it out. That's where it cut the black on the back, but it did not go through the Kevlar. Dang. Yeah, you can feel it. It's hard right Woo. there. The bullets are right there. Could what you a, imagine? That would definitely mess you up. Point blank. Just, but it does keep the bullet out of your chest. Did a pretty good job at stopping that 44 Magnum. But now we're going to hit it with 50 AE and 500 Magnum. Point blank. Okay. One, two, three. My safety was on. <laughs> Shoot him in the crotch <laughs> with a Desert Eagle.
you shot down here then? Yeah, I shot. So we've got. I shot one of the. Got low 50 ones. AE and 500 Magnum, pretty close together. Yep. So if it's if it stopped that, I mean, that's dude, you'd be hurting. Uh, I think we went. No, did it go through? That looks like it went through. Yeah, that was the 500 Magnum. Okay. Uh, I think they both went through. All right. Well, it stopped 44 Magnum, but it did not stop the 500. What about the back? And the 50 AE? I don't believe. Yeah, there's two holes. Oh look. my gosh, oh, he's broken. Sounds like you can hear. Sounds like you can hear a bullet in him. Oh yeah. Ow! Ow! I found one. Oh gosh. There's. I bet that's the that's... 500, maybe. No. I think the 50 didn't make it through. Your poor mannequin. Oh yeah, that's a, ow, that's way hotter. <laughs> Feel how hot that is. One of those is ah! really hot. All right. We got another stylish jacket here with the Kentucky Ballistics logo on it. Uh, we're gonna put this one on the dummy, or at least what's left of the dummy. We're gonna hit with double lot buck. 12 gauge shotgun, double lot buck. It's gonna <laughs> stop it, easy. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> you got him good. Oh, it's so wadded up. <laughs> Look at the Kevlar. There's nothing left of that. got the that. Kevlar. All the BBs are gonna be right here in the middle. It stopped them all? I'm pretty sure it stopped them Dang. all. Dang, that was level two. Oh, look. Oh, that's There cool. they are. They're all mashed together with the wad, with the wad. right there. Dude, wow. look at that. So these were all little circular balls and now they're all just squished. Ha! Ah! They're really hot. <laughs> I was gonna say. That is cool. That is cool. That's really hot. That's crazy. So those actually acted a lot like a slug, just because yeah, they're all so close together. Up. The Dang. back side of the Kevlar looks fine. A little bit of stretch, but nothing came through. I know that none of this is gonna stop a rifle round, Maybe you want to like stack them all together and see if, uh, if you wore all these clothes, if you could stop a rifle. Yeah, see if we can stop like an AK. Yeah. Let's do it. It's got one screw in it. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Ah. Hey, what the? <laughs> <laughs> so we got one layer, two layer, three, but four. Try to just make this one hang. Five, six. We got some tape. So that's another two layers. I don't even know how many we have on here. That's gonna be it. Oh yeah, we got tons of room. You wanna get the Kevlar zip first? Yeah. Tons of room. What's happening there? There we go. Yeah. You just had to be stronger. All right, so there are zero holes. There's one scratch in the back, but otherwise no holes. 10 layers up front, it's like, some of them are two, some of them are three. I don't know. We're gonna see what it'll stop. We got a little uh, miniature AK here. AK pistol, what do they call it, like a Draco? Uh, this is not the Draco, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. It's a very short barreled 762 by 39. I like it. I love it. Okay, we're gonna see if 762 will go through those 10 layers of armor. Uh, what do you think? No. It's, it's not going through. No. I'm saying no way. That fireball though. That was a heck of a fireball. All right, that's a solid hit. One of those. Well. Nothing. Yeah, that, that, was, that, that was, was already before, there. Right? Yep, that was already there. There's just been this one scratch. I don't know what that's from, but that was already there. One cut, but nothing went through. Nothing went through the, the back. You want to try five, five, six? Going faster, but it's lighter. Yeah. All right. Stopped uh, seven, six, two. There's a lot in there. Yeah. You gonna shoot a lot? Five, five, six. I don't know. Maybe. There's an ammo shortage right now, and just gave me a mag and full. This is, and this is not your ammo, so <laughs> <laughs> not your problem. Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Tired. 
You really loaded that thing up. Touch that thing on the end. I just want to see if it's slippery. You gotta lick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we sh I saw it several times uh, with the 5.56 five, and... You're good. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you ripped it up with the 5.56. Five, yeah, well, I haven't got to shoot, you know, in a while. I'm broke, I don't have any ammo, and you handed me a full mag, so I just don't know what came over me. I'm really sorry. I'll make sure to not give you a full mag again. <laughs> but I have a gun that might go through this. Yeah? Yeah. 10 layers up front, but also like 10 layers in the back. So about 20 layers total. That's a lot. I think it's still gonna go through it. I think it's gonna go through too. Kevlar's not good at stopping 50 BMGs. No. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah. The dirt sure flew up on the other yeah, side. Yeah, that went right through. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Not good? Uh, uh, didn't make it. How many layers of Kevlar do you think that is? From I guess front to 10, back? 20 total. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's, that's crazy. a lot. And that's not our armor penetrating round. That's not an incendiary. Yep. That's nothing Full fancy. That's just a regular base model. 50 base BMG. model. <laughs> no frills, no options. <laughs> All right, we got the AK 762 by 7.62x39 full metal jackets, and Matt has the AR with 5.56 five, full metal jackets. We both have 30 ish. Never shot this little guy before. It's fun. All right. Was just with the suppressor was just gassing my eyes out. <laughs> we got a lot of holes. Take a look at that. Interestingly, though. Oh my gosh. Nothing there. I mean, that was close to 30 from both guns. Dang. Plus all the other stuff we put into this. That's nuts. That's pretty crazy. Okay, that's an interesting way to open. Cut through that. Yeah. All right. See how far Pretty down we made up. it. Jeez. Ooh, oh, oh look that, there. Look at that. Yeah, there's Ooh, a 762 hot. by 39. There's some shrapnel from one of them. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. There's an, oh look Ooh. at Ha! That was right. Ha! Yep, <laughs> dude, you can just feel the heat coming off of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so your 762s were mostly stopping before they got to the guy, yeah. it looks like. Dude, we chewed up these zippers. That's stuck. There's the 5.56. Five, yep. There. Here's your uh, your buckshot from earlier. I, oh, not dang, much is coming I mean, here. I think we actually stopped a bunch from getting to him. I think him. we did. He's fine. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's totally fine, bro. Well, uh, okay. Wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just wear 10 layers of clothes from Bulletproof Everyone, and looks like you could potentially stop. 60 rounds of uh, 762 and 556 five, together. Super safe and comfortable. And you'll be super warm. So don't forget, September 18th, there's gonna be me, Matt, Robert O'Burst, Bill Goldberg, WWE, Grantham, Cy Robertson from Duck Dynasty. Lots of people, so don't forget to be there. Matt, thank you so much for having me out. Thanks for coming. Sorry for destroying your stuff. No, you're not. And uh, I'm a little bit. You're not. I feel a little bad. <laughs> just, just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. Matt's channel will be in the description down below. Quit making all the noises. I can't think straight. Okay, sorry. His channel will be in the description down below. He's got 50 million subs, but he still needs a few more, so go check him out. About to pass PewDiePie. No big deal. <laughs> As always, my name is Scott. His name is Matt. And we'll see you next time.